We have some questions sometimes about the terminal sire index and, and what is a selection index? Well, actually, Charlet was a leading beef breed in terms of releasing an index long before other beef breeds had selection indexes. When we look at the history of selection inde indexes, it goes back to the swine industry in the 40s. The poultry industry, dairy, have used indexes quite extensively in refining their breeding programs and their breeding stock. And then the beef industry took it on. Uh, Charlet released the terminal sire index as an opportunity to take multiple traits and boil those down into one simplified value that was reported in dollars. Uh, these values were specifically targeted towards commercial bull buyers to simplify the use of EPDs coming out of a national cattle evaluation, placing economic weightings on those to make those relevant to our industry. Uh, the terminal sire index, of course, as you would imagine, uh, has a lot of emphasis on that post-weaning feedlot growth. There's also some tweaks or components in there to add additional traits and, and weightings for, say, uh, a birth weight adjustment and some pieces like that. But it is geared with the assumption that all calves go to market and replacement females are not retained. So that's the scenario. But you could see how rather than looking at a laundry list of EPDs, you could boil that down in a multi-trait nature just to looking at one value reported in dollars. Well, how do we use the TSI or terminal sire index? Again, remember the scenario and the assumptions that those calves are going to be marketed and replacements are not to be retained because of the emphasis in the index. When you're dealing with dollars, it makes sense that the higher value is more favorable. So it's always good with indexes and EPDs to understand the units of measure and which direction you'd like to place your emphasis. You can also think about, uh, again, not chasing an extreme and avoiding single trait selection. So you want a nice balance. Well, indexes give you some balance in that selection approach. When we talk about selection indexes, they're very complicated, difficult to develop, but they're very simplistic to use in the fact that they pull together multiple traits and are reported in units of measures of dollars, which are very comfortable for producers to use. 